Hey guys, so it's the next morning after working out and I'm doing my meal prep. Um, let's see, right now I have this chicken going. Don't judge my chicken. Um, <laughs> I'm actually about to flip this over. Uh, I do like, a, um, I guess like a bake boil, like a bake fry boil. I don't know how to call this, but basically I, uh, just cook the chicken like this. I just let, I put a little bit of oil in the pan. I'll sear it just a little bit and then cook it like this. And this is how I like to eat it. And then I'll just add my little vegetables or whatever. And put this down here. The chicken shrunk a little bit, just a little bit. I'm gonna flip all these pieces over. See, I got that going, and I'm actually about to add my cut up mushrooms that I just made. Put that in there. Love mushrooms. I do those last because mushrooms cook, um, I mean, pretty quickly. <laughs> so, yeah. Throw those on top. This is all just a one pot meal i've already rinsed them and i cut them up and everything and i just put that right back on top there next this is a bag of spinach but um i typically will like what the did i put that on how is this hot i i have no idea how this is hot oh because of this Okay, I was like, wait, what? I didn't even put on the thing. So this is one bag. I was trying to fit in two, but I'm going to have to let this cook down a little bit and then add in my second bag. I feel like y'all have seen my meal prep a thousand times. I don't know. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I just made my spinach with green beans and garlic. And the chicken is still cooking, but it's basically done. Uh, I'm going to do one more bag of spinach and then start boiling the broccoli heads. But yeah, I'm just going to keep this water in here. It's not dirty or anything. It's just the color of the spinach coming off into the coming off into the plate. I don't even know if I have enough for this container. We'll see. And then I made myself my usual collagen smoothie for breakfast. I had a little bit of plain Greek yogurt. It tastes like sour cream almost. And my vitamins some orange juice and strawberry bananas with water. I only do like half a cup of orange juice because it's too sweet and then I just add the rest of water. The chicken looks done. I pulled off some pieces and the pieces literally just kind of like fell apart. So it's done. I don't want to overdo it. <laughs> but I mean, I feel like you can never really overcook chicken, especially when it's this type of method. Um, some of these pieces are just really, really thick and don't really fall apart like that. <laughs> Unless I did it in a slow cooker or something, but yeah. Anyway, I did the middle test. I poked in it and nothing's pink. So now I'm gonna separate it into these two different containers. And then the other food will go in here, the other greens. All the chicken, mushrooms, greens, and vegetables are all done. So I'm gonna pop that in the refrigerator. Pop that, I almost said put, but I said pop. And yeah, this is my breakfast. Basically it's nothing but leftovers. I just got some shrimp mushroom greens spinach and these turkey meatballs that i actually made for spaghetti the other night um they look super dry but that's because they're a few days old they just been sitting in the refrigerator and no juice so yeah but anyway um it'll keep me full for the day it's really low carb low fat so i'm just gonna drink that with my smoothie while i watch some tv a couple things to do today um i okay before anybody says anything about a hat um, I know that this hat is better than the one that I personally like, the beret, that is all fuzzy. I got that beret from Zara like four or five years ago, but I just loved it. I still like it. I almost wore it today, but instead I just wore this cheap ass cap that I got from H&M. Yeah, so today is basically a shopping day. I feel like I've, I shop a lot and I don't really talk about it. it it's kind of a problem. I think in the midst of me trying to figure out my new size and you know clothes just aren't fitting me right I don't know if I told y'all but I gave 
like my mom like five outfits for her to alter for me because she was working at this um this place where they make clothes and pillows and things like that so i needed her to alter them for me that was like a month ago she still hasn't given the clothes back and they're like very simple alterations like i'm one of those people i don't even need my stuff to be altered perfectly i just need it to be cinched like like different little waist cinches it's not even like it's jeans that i need her to fix my mom has been altering my clothes my whole life because you know when i was younger i was bigger at the bottom and i had a very small waist so my mom would always alter the back of my jeans so that they didn't have that pocket part that was just like sticking up and I didn't have to wear a belt and just any different things like that. So nothing's changed 20 years later, <laughs> not just kidding, 15 years later. And um, anyway, she was supposed to alter some dresses. These are dresses that for some reason I just can't let go. Um, I really like them. I bought them for super cheap, but they're just such cute dresses that I'm like, I can't, I can't. I really can't and they're super flattering and the colors are good just everything about these dresses are really cool but literally just under the boob part it's way too big you know like last summer um or even like earlier this year when i put them on they were kind of tight and or they fit perfectly now they're just kind of hanging off they give my breast no support because the band under my breast are it's just way too wide oh god it's raining it's been raining every day so yeah, I gave my mom my clothes to alter, <laughs> and I'm like, mom, I don't know, she's busy now, so I probably, she's never going to get to them, but it just seems like she's always sewing, but whatever. So that's uh, one thing is uh, I've been buying just like nothing, nothing big. I literally have bought a, a few dresses lately that I've just been really into, and I bought a couple pair of jeans. Um, I recycle my clothing out a lot. I spend a lot of money on clothes, and I them back away i don't even sell my clothes that much like i try to sell them but if they take too long to sell i give them the goodwill <laughs> but um yeah anyway that's what i'm doing today we are basically i found um i found this dress at tj maxx and i really 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 love it it's very fit it's very fitted very flattering and I, will, I have to show you guys in the mirror like it's figure hugging the material is so soft and I don't even really like talking about things like this because I don't like talking about anything that I get from like Ross or TJ Maxx because I feel like if I tell you guys about it and I really really like it with the same size it's gonna be hard for you to find it I feel like especially because I buy a lot of my stuff on clearance um I don't know I just I don't want to brag about something and then try to tell you how to get it or where to get it and what the brand is and then you can't find it but I, i'll still i have to go back home and look at it because you know it's probably one of those little like small brands that nobody's heard of uh whatever we're going to tj maxx uh to go do that and i also need to return these two tank tops that i bought i bought them on clearance but i'm actually going to go buy the ones that are not on clearance the ones on clearance are only 12. the ones not on clearance were like 14 or 15 dollars uh, but I bought a size large in the tops and I should have bought a medium so I'm just gonna take them back now and get it over with instead of waiting because right now the largest just fit like there's thick it's nothing special but the mediums actually gave me a shape and they were more fitted so since I'm still losing weight I'm just gonna buy it in the medium uh, you know my breasts are not flat so that's why I'm not gonna get a small for the future or anything uh, I could but usually my breasts don't get that small anyway and then today is the VIB whatever sale now Sephora changed up their rules last year basically you, you have to have like 1100 points to be a VIB I am $60 away from 60 points away or whatever from being a VIB so that's a difference re between 15 and I guess 20 percent um I do want to buy the Pat McGrath foundation. So yesterday was interesting. Sephora had a sale on foundations. It was buy one, get one half off. Now to me, I feel like that's better. After I calculated it, I think 15% off would have been like $12. And if I would have just did half off, which I did, I would have saved $25. So I ended up just doing that instead. I ended up getting both NARS foundations. I got the All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. I got them both in Macau, but Macau is way too dark. Um, I have it on right now, and I 
I even mixed it with um with what is that foundation called? It's at the tip of my tongue, but basically they have little droplets that you can put and you can mix it with other foundations and it's also a weightless one. So, oh, it's called Cover FX. <laughs> That's what it's called, yeah. So, uh, I put some Cover FX droplets in my foundation in the color 70, which 70 is pretty light. Um, it's probably, it's not even like my winter color. It's actually a, like a tad lighter than my winter color. Yeah, I mixed that in and my foundation is still dark. So, I need to figure something out with Macau. And I also got the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. And I got this also in the color Macau, but the only, this is too dark for me also, but um, I just really like the formula. And uh, what I am what I did with my last foundation, I'm gonna keep that bottle and I'm just gonna have to do the mix. I don't know, if they're still having the buy one, get one half off sale, I may go and pick up, I may pick up the Fenty's, I pick up both of them. Like I'll get the, the matte one in 420 and then I'll get the hydrating one in 385 because the matte one I may have to mix so yeah I mean I'm all about foundations I personally just I like I like a good foundation so it doesn't really bother me like that to be just buying a bunch of them now eyeshadows I know good and well that I don't need to be buying a bunch of eyeshadows and all that stuff because eyeshadows are not what I care to buy Then lipsticks, yeah, I like, um, I like foundation and lipsticks and lip gloss and things like that. I cannot believe it's raining right now. I'm so pissed. I'm so pissed. Just because people drive terribly when it rains. And then on top, oh, you know what? I need to go to Pox with money. I don't even know why I'm playing. I'm gonna go do that today. That's what I'm gonna go do. We can't he can't use it very well it's, it's sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't like and it's definitely money on there and it's just embarrassing like we went to the grocery store one time to get groceries and like I almost paid but then when I saw it was like two hundred dollars I was like nah <laughs> I know I'm stupid but no um yeah I was you know we went there and uh, it didn't the car wasn't working so he had to manually a manager had to come. He had to freaking manually punch in the card number. And I was just like, man, I'm gonna need you to get it together. I, I, I like the card was, okay, chill. Fucking chill. I, I, there's just something about bankers that are very creepy to me. I just don't like them. I don't like people who, something, something about people who work at banks, like certain banks especially, it's just weird. 
Um, anyway, the car was embarrassing, so yeah. Let me go deposit this little bit of change I got. I got no money. I broke ass. It's so funny. I'm so broke, and I'm just over here buying. Let me see. Okay, anyway, I keep forgetting what the point of my story is because I get so sidetracked by the weird stuff that's always going on. She is over here. Like, he, he, he went to the ATM, so she's like, okay, well, I'm going to go look at these foundations to go pick out mine. And I'm like, okay, I'm just going to go buy my stuff. And she's like, you don't want to wait for him to pay for it? She kept saying that, and I'm like, no. I'm like, I said, I was just like, let me, let me just get it. And then I just told her, I said, he'll give it to me later. He's not going to give it all to me. I, you know which whatever I, I just personally really don't care i know that everybody is all about getting what's theirs getting what they can blah 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 but it just doesn't really matter to me like i don't like waiting i understand everybody's trying to make sure that they're they're getting their worth all that i get my worth out of whatever type of relationship that i have this one girl got mad at me because i was talking about how i enjoy friends with benefits because everybody's benefits are different you know whatever they you know if you're not happy with your friends with benefits partner that's not my problem shit girl you better get you somebody else that's fulfilling all of your needs <laughs> like what are you doing sis I don't understand these girls like they get so mad when especially when women talk about like openly about friends with benefits Ooh like that just really um because they're just so oh that's 60 20 40 oh good okay they're just so sure that you are getting the short end of the stick you know that's just how women think women always think that you're just like getting the lowest of the lowest treatment maybe because they have in the past so they just figure like you're always going to be getting treated badly and i'm like girl you need to take a step back and reevaluate all of your past relationships and i'm serious and i'm not even trying to be funny you really do because if you look back on a lot of your relationships and all you see is pain and hurt then that's a problem that's a problem that's not how your relationships should be remembered and reflected on you know and i'm not even saying that you can even help that you know like some of these people really just try to hurt people um okay that's 20 should i keep 30 i'll keep like 30 bucks on me that's not bad i don't like carrying around too much cash because if somebody takes it i don't want to i don't really want to miss it honestly i didn't even know i had that much i'm looking i'm like is this right because I, I typically don't keep like a hundred Okay, that, that's kind of scary because I, I really just don't keep, I don't keep up with my money like that. I should. Let me just put that much in there. Oh. Yeah, see how like this is kind of dark? I mean, I still mixed it with the yellow, but it's still a little dark. Oh shit, it is already 1.30 almost. Oof. Hello? Thank you. So anyway, that's basically what I'm doing today. Uh, I need to relax my hair. I feel like I'm not gonna be able to do that today. Um, just because I spent the entire morning meal prepping. That took hours. Ooh, I, you know, as you guys saw, I made my chicken and all that food for the next couple days. So at least I won't have to worry about that for the next two, three days. And then I ate and yeah literally left the house around like 1 it's 1 30 now i mean it's just crazy how time flies i have to leave for school at six so let me see because the, the the place that i'm going to it's going to take me about 30 minutes to get there so and then ugh, i also need to go get gas like, i just need to go do a lot of things today today is really i just kind of want to do a little bit of retail therapy today um but I also, I, I don't know, I just, I, it's weird, like, having these type of problems. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I also want to talk about this jacket. Okay, so, 
in this jacket and this dress that I'm wearing. So we already talked about the dress. Let's talk about the jacket, y'all. <laughs> this jacket I got at Agassi. I think it was Agassi like two years ago, okay? When I bought it, the jacket obviously fit. It was a, it fit a little, like a teensy bit more loose than it does now. But earlier this year, when I tried to wear this jacket on several occasions because it was so chilly here, it was just chilly. I don't even know. I could not fit this jacket. I could not fit it. It was way too tight. I couldn't lift the arms. Like, right now, I'm in the car, so I can't really do it. But, like, I couldn't lift my arms. And I could barely even get the jacket in. Now, I've always had pretty thin arms. But, like, when I would... <sighs> Thank you. But when I would try to, like, put my, like, close my arms like this or like reach forward, it, was, it wasn't happening. But yeah, so I'm just, I'm really proud of myself because of that I'm really happy really really happy that just excites me um there are so many clothes that I've retried putting them on and all of them fit like a lot of things and it's just crazy it's like all I lost was, was 15 pounds is it was is that really that big of a difference but when it's weight training 15 pounds versus cardio 15 pounds I'm understanding that that is a huge difference because weight training that shit's gonna tone you up and tighten everything cardio is just gonna burn the fat weight training you can burn fat but you're gonna be building like more muscle more toning but i'd rather the toning than just like you know straight up cardio and this whole body is nothing but weight training body weight training low carbs just eating right and everything but the stomach, y'all, the stomach is still a problem for you, girl. Like, my stomach is still my problem area. Still looking pregnant. Uh, I know it's because I've been fucking up. I don't even want to talk about that in this vlog. Like, this is a shopping vlog. Where we're just talking about clothes and stuff and just, you know. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm just, I'm just really happy because um, I like wearing little jackets and things. These jackets kind of dress up your outfits a little bit like it kind of makes it look like okay you didn't just put on a dress you know you try to put a little type of some type of effort into your outfit you know what I mean all right so we're almost there I'm very close I'm just gonna run in here you know what I should probably go to TJ Maxx first I really just don't feel like returning this honestly I just don't <laughs> But I know I need to go return it, so I'm probably just gonna go do that first, and then, um, and then head over there. <sighs> I don't even. Okay, I'm just trying to figure out why am I going to the Sephora? Oh, you know what? That's why I'm over here. I'm over here because I need to figure out whether um, they have the Sephora lipstick colors on clearance because they do have them at the other Sephora. But if they have them here, I'm going to go pick these up. I'm just going to pick it up here and I won't even go over there. I'll probably order the Path McGrath from here too. But if I go to the Galleria, I could just go shade match myself. But they already told me that the two shades that could possibly be mine are already sold out over there. She said they do have a tester though, so I could drive over there. I could, but do I really feel like dealing with the parking garage, the people, the anxiety, the stress, and the mileage? I don't know. I don't know. Hey guys. Oop. Just made it to the gym, obviously. Okay, so y'all yeah, remember when I told you that I butchered my hair? <laughs> and I cut a lot of it off? Basically, it's asymmetrical. It's slanted. It's not even. Maybe if I straightened out this, but I'm going to have to cut this off. But anyway, I never even wear my real hair like this in a bob. I cut off like this much hair like I'll insert another clip so yeah a lot of my hair is currently cut off it's it was just dead ends it was super tangled I didn't even really know what to do with my hair so yeah kind of struggling a little bit with that 
Not anymore. Um, today, I had Raisin Cane's. Yes. And it's weird. Like, fast food is just, like, not that delicious to me like it used to be before. It's like, before I would just, like, savor it, eat it. I would just, like... It just would taste so good. Now it doesn't taste that good anymore. It's just kind of like, okay, this is what I used to crave. Okay, you know, I don't crave that anymore. I think I just need to get out of my system. And then also I had some, basically these caramel pecan chocolate candies. I was at TJ Maxx. Um, oh, you guys can really see like, okay. So you guys know how my, my lips are back to normal. Do you guys see how this side of my lips is bigger than this side? This is not because of the lady who did, like, it's all dissolved. This was the problem that I was trying to fix originally. Like, this side is bigger than this side. Like, this side should come down like this to make my lips even and that was and that's all I wanted which is a little bit of touch there just to make them even anyway um I don't even want to get into that but yeah we're here I just got a class uh and guys look I can't even believe that I even had time to do this so literally at like 4 20 I started mixing my relaxer cream and I just put the like at first I was like okay I'm not gonna relax my hair just because I had just been messing with it so much with like the washing and the conditioning I think it actually looks good like if I could just get it all shoulder length like if I could get it all that length I think I like this length I'm cool with this anyway I finished mixing it and I let the I always let my relaxer sit a little bit so it can you know get to work and then I just started applying that all over my head I put a movie on and by five 30 I believe I was done and then I had to like rinse my hair out do all the neutralizing and all that and um <clears throat> and at first I was gonna put my red wig on and I did I ended up putting on my yakky wig I didn't even want to wear a wig today but I just didn't want to shock the class with my real hair because you know people are just so dramatic sometimes like oh I don't want I didn't want the day to be about my real hair basically um, so yeah, anyway, I put on my yakky wig, but I am gonna just end up wearing my real hair to class just because I'm just like, who cares? Who cares, right? So yeah, um, I went to Sephora. I found out that today was actually the Rouge sale and tomorrow is the VIB sale. So go fucking figure. I was like, okay, great, you know? Um, I'm not even VIB status anyway. I still need, I don't even know why I'm even struggling over this. I feel like this should just come naturally. All the things that I want to buy will always be there. It's not even like I'm getting limited edition items. Any, you know, it's not even like that. So that's why I'm kind of like, what am I even doing? I hate when I'm working with a company and they tell me that my package was delivered. I don't need you to fucking email me that. I ha literally have the email saying your package has been delivered. Like, just chill. I don't even know why I'm stalling. I need to go inside. Let me start putting on my shoes. I got my big ass jug of water. This one is a fresh one. I always. Oh, you know what? Okay, no, I'm not strong enough right now. I'll open that later. I don't know. I'm just like, come on, girl. Get motivated. Maybe if I talk every single time I'm about to go to, into the gym, maybe this will help motivate me, you know? Because I'm just like. I felt like I, I think you know what also unmotivated me I haven't been posting as much videos so I'm not being held as accountable that's it like I need to start posting more videos so anyway y'all are I'm gonna try to post more videos because when I post it I get feedback and I can see myself back and I can hold myself accountable more easily stop getting lazy stop doing this like come on girl like let's do this you know um, I don't even, like, today's the last day of my period, most likely. I can feel it being the last. My period is now, like, four days, and I don't understand that. Like, I'm used to it being, like, two to three days. You know, like, the third day is, like, the max. 
it's always at least two to three days always it's always three usually but and that's with like no sex because you know like sex will get it like jump started again but yeah i don't know what's been going on it, it's, it was four days like it's like what and it happened over the weekend too me and him like we wanted to like go out and do stuff and we did we went to the movies i don't know if i told y'all we went to go see um scary stories to tell in the dark that movie was not good <laughs> I mean, it was just so typical. I mean, it's typical, you know. I thought it was going to be so scary because the books scared the shit out of me. Like, scared the shit out of me as a kid. I had nightmares. I had nightmares because of that book. But, yeah, that movie, I was just like, what is this? Like, and then they did the insane asylum. I'm just, oh, God, so many tropes. These people can't come up with nothing new. I'm I'm just I'm just basically convinced that people with money are lame. I don't even want to be rich because people who are rich just seem so lame, so uninspiring, so unenthusiastic, so stupid. Especially when it comes to like cinema. They're just boring. I'm just starting to believe that because they have they all they do is put their money in things with no fucking vision. Um, I'm like, and if that's what it means to be rich, just a bland, unseasoned bitch, then that's not what I want to be. Fuck, all these mosquito bites on my legs are itching. I don't know why I'm stalling. I hate to get in there. I hate to get in there and listen to Megan Thee Stallion. It's funny, whenever I hear people, like, use Megan Thee Stallion out of contact, like, just in conversation, I feel like that's just so lame. I don't know. Um... Um, I need, I know I need to go inside. Okay, I don't know what's going on, but Pedro has not texted me back. You know what? And that's very strange, because usually he texts me a whole lot. I don't know what's going on with him. He's probably drinking. He drinks a lot. He drinks so much. It's ridiculous. All right, guys. Let's hit this gym. If, if anything, what the, if anything, I do like going to the gym because I get to listen to, like, music in my headphones. And I, you know, I could do that at the house, right? But it's just kind of weird. It's weird, right? Like, just listening to headphones at your house. It's kind of strange. I don't know. All right, let me go in here. Oh, my gosh. Hey, guys. Just made it out to the gym. Oh goodness, I um super sweaty because I was on the elliptical for I did 20 minutes on there. Um I do it on a level eight. Oh, goodness, I have all my gloves. Okay, so whenever I do weight training, I do weight training every single time I go to the gym. Like that's what I do. But to protect my um calluses in my hands like i don't want my hands to start bleeding or anything like that especially when i'm doing like deadlifts or anything uh i wear gloves i don't know how those people be doing like deadlifts and all that stuff and freaking anyway, with no gloves so yeah uh tonight i'm trying to make it into bed showered and everything face routine by 1 a.m it is 12 17 right now anyway i hope you guys have a good night and if you are worried and wondering, should I go to the gym? Should I go work out? Go do it. Go make yourself feel good. Go do it. Go do it today, tonight, whatever you need to go do. Go wait and do it in the morning time. Or do something. This is your motivation to just go do it. Because I feel so much better. I feel so much better. Especially after how I ate like crap today. I mean, I started off good, but that's how it always is. I start off amazing and then I end just poorly like especially lately since I've been going out and stuff I feel like this waist trainer is just making everything look big but this is kind of reality I guess I don't know 